Howdy guys, welcome to my new let's play, let's play Portal. This is Reculture and cutscene time, I think. And I'm trying to be energetic, which isn't going to work. Hey look, it's a timer. Yes, I am playing this on PC. Shut up. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety, and the safety of others, please refrain from... Yes, Don't they fire once again? Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Don't touch what? Hey, look. What's that? Huh? She's walking when I am... Hey. Wait a minute. That thing is... This thing. That big pot. <laughs> this bad? Hmm, what happens? Look, it's a sign. It's here too. What happens if... A... Toilet? Oh... I teleported from there to there. It's always fun to be stupid. So yeah, this is... This is Portal. Uh, developed by Valve and it was released along with half Team Fortress 2, Half-Life and uh, things on the orange box as an experiment people liked it answer they really really liked it and that's why I'm going to LP this and I, yes I am very excited Oops, it's a button Oh. Look, it's a block. What happens if... No. Good block. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material events a patient grip will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. So if you take that cube and go uh, through the grid, it uh, vaporizes, vanishes, disappears into thin air. I don't want to do that. Oh. So, how have you all been doing and what do you guys think of me that's playing this game? Leave it in the comments below. So, this chamber 1, 1 to 19. There are no specifications. Ooh, made by Aperture, yeah, Aperture Laboratories. Okay, cool. Drop. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. So, what you want to do is Wait until you see the cube, grab it, run back through it, run back again, run Perfect. back again. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Also, this is my second take of this because I recorded with uh, Camtasia and that was laggy as hell. Now I'm using uh, Fraps. Which I lent, lent from a friend. Sue me. No, don't. Don't. So, floor three? You're doing. 
Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol. It is an unintended effect of the Appiat Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental filling, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Wow. That was odd. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science Handheld Portal Device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you What shouldn't I do? Ah, oh, come on, Gladys. Please tell me, what shouldn't I do? Oh yeah, the robot whose voice you hear every time is called Gladys. And why can't I see myself? Oh, yeah. this, is, this is you. With high uh, jumping heels so that if you jump from a great distance, you don't die or break your legs in this case. Also, note that if you have a portal, it vaporizes once you go via the grid. It has to do with the gun and uh, Taylor come. Blame aperture science or lab laboratories or whatever you'd like just do it so we're now just a please minutes. proceed to the chamber lock mine the gap okay to ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities do not destroy vital testing apparatus sorry Gladys but I don't like cameras so, very easy oh. By the way. For your own safety, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Shut up. And well done. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. So that was easy. Let's just place a portal there. Go into here. Well, go into there. Place a portal here and go back into the portal. That is quite less oh by the way these cameras this is what happens that is fun right and shit I don't know how long I'm recording so I'm just going to test chamber six now we stop oh I don't know if I said it already but uh there are nineteen Welcome to Test Chamber 4. You're doing quite well. And... You know, 19 and that's... Robot is called Gladys. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. That was... That was a lot of fun. Oh, it's a cube. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. What? Me? On my own? That is impossible. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Ah, me on my own. Okay. So there are no cameras, right? I hope so, else I will be very angry. But Bill Gates, no Steve Jobs. Because Apple is going downhill again. Why? Because he's leaving due to his illness. The first time we left, things weren't going all that great. And now it's the second time. So, test chamber 5. Watch out for blocks on your head. Go. Vital yeah. testing apparatus destroyed. Whoa, that happened because this thing fell on my hand. 
Shut up, GLaDOS. You said there was no supervision of you. So. I just destroyed all your cameras. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. So, you lied to me. There was super uh, vision. Ooh, that was just a lucky shot. So, that was easy. Entrance. Yeah, got everything. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. I don't think that there's a time limit to when you escape or something, but... Yeah, Gladys, you lied to me. Oh, wait. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. You know how much I hate these things. So, Gladys is a liar. Stupid robot. And we're going to the sixth floor. The last one for this episode. certain reasons. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Oh, I died. <laughs> While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. Oh, you told it now, I just vaporized. So what you want to do is those ball. You want to redirect them? Please. Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject hometown here. Yeah, you want to redirect them in those, and so, me, Regald, must be the fame of Den Helder. Yes, that's my uh, hometown, Den Helder, in the Netherlands. Microsoft sues Barnes & Noble over Android devices. Stupid Barnes & Noble. Yeah, reading CNET feed on my... Email Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. I don't know what, but what you want to do is, to do is that. And when it passed through. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Yeah, so what you just wanted to do was, uh, when it went through in there, you wanted to, uh, or at least pass this portal, you want to quickly uh, make a portal here and jump in it so that you get on the platform, which then starts moving, so you can go onto here. And I think I'll do one more chamber, I guess. Feels like 15 minutes. Ah. Stop yawning, man. You don't want to yawn in a portal game. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Oh, so I die then. Alright. Fine. Well, in my first take, I ac accidentally died via that. So, well, what you want to do is redirect it there, make a portal, jump in. Oh. A consequence for failure. Okay. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory oh. mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. I forgot what you want to do is redirect 
one thing into there. And then one at this in this uh, area. You want to have it bounce back of the wall, then it goes into there. Then you jump into here, make a portal there so that you later can step into it. So what I just like to do fall onto it. It looks weird when you look at an at such an angle. It just looks weird. But yeah, get this portal for you. And yeah, that's the way how the game is played. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. So, see you all in the next part.